Morning guys, how are we doing? This morning's live feed, you can actually see me. Um, so I am down in Taunton, um, which is down near Somerset, a lovely part of the country. Um, so I know that one of the commando units used to be here, but I never actually came here. Um, and I got in late last night, the train bringing us in 45 minutes late, which is awesome. So I'm not getting into quarter to 11, which is why I'm a little bit later on this live feed. Um, so I'm doing a talk today on um, mental, uh, two, two guys who are struggling a little bit with mental health, need a little bit of spark in their life and a little bit of drive. Um, so I'm looking forward to hopefully sparking some of that drive, getting the fire back in the belly for them to be the best version of themselves, kind of sharing a little bit about my story um, and giving them some sort of strategy as well to, to kind of get out there and, 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 and really do it, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Today I want to talk about time um, and what we're doing with our time and the amount, of, uh, the amount that we are doing with our time. Um, but before we do that, just some formalities. If you could um, go into the podcast, if you're listening on the podcast, just leave a review. If you're watching on a video, please do share. I massively, massively appreciate it. So look, I was sitting there the other day and I was just reflecting and I was thinking about, God, I can't believe I'm 40. Um, and then I thought, God, hopefully I'm only just halfway through, you know, hopefully I'm going to hit the 80, if not further. But if I hit the, if I hit the 80 mark, I think the average lifespan is about 76. And I hope with all the fitness that I've done, I'm just a little bit more than that average and at least can get to 40. That gives me 40 years to live the rest of my life. Now, it sounds an awful lot. It is an awful lot. But it kind of got me thinking when you break things down, that's like 40 Christmases, 40 summers. That's just over 14,000 days left, 14,000 sunrises. And then I thought about back to when I went on holiday last year and we were doing our countdown. And I remember going, we've only got 200 days left. We've only got 100 days left. We've only got 50 days left. And before you knew it, we were on holiday. And even though you think, God, we've still got 200 days before we go on holiday, it just disappears. It just suddenly creeps up on you and you're like, there's only 100 days to holiday. There's only 50 days. And then all of a sudden you're on the plane going on holiday and you kind of wonder where the year goes. Another incident that makes me think about time is Facebook time lapse with the memories. Every time a photo comes up or a post that I put up last year, I literally can't believe it because I feel I only took that picture like yes, yesterday and I kind of wonder where the hell, I kind of wonder where the hell that time went. Where did that year go? And then I have to go through the year and kind of think, well, what have I achieved in the last year? So you see, time is moving so fast. It's moving rapidly. Okay, it's absolutely, um, yes, David, please do. I'd love to hear. Thank you. Um, time is just disappearing, right? We're kind of suddenly going, oh my God, was that a year ago? How many of you are saying, God, was that last year? How many of you seeing kids that you know suddenly have grown up and going, oh my God, look how big she is. When I was training for my 100 miler in 2017, Jemima was pregnant. We had Albert in April. She's now a year and a half. And I'm kind of looking at that year and a half going, where the fuck is that gone? So that's what got me thinking about time. And that's what got me thinking about, fuck, time is so limited. Like when you really sit down and think about it and you go into, you go into real detail and go, there's, there's fucking not an awful lot left. And if you waste so much of it on the piss, and if you're wasting so much of it feeling sorry for yourself, if you waste so much of it feeling sad and you're not reaching your potential, it's gonna get even harder as we get older, okay? One thing that is for certain though, is that it is never ever, ever too late to do anything that you want at any age or at any level, okay? I worked with a 73 year old man, super guy, okay, super guy. Came to me last year and morning, Graham, and morning said to me, since the age of 30, I have neglected myself. I used to be uh, in business in London. 
I lost my family because of my lifestyle and um, I've wasted all of those years. I've wasted all of them. He go, and he said to me he wanted to, he wanted to relive his life. He wanted to start again and he felt that he couldn't do that and he almost was just waiting to die and it was really sad so I phoned him up and we spoke on the phone and a year later he is doing things that he never thought he could possibly do and that's simply because he had a little bit more self-belief he had somebody to, to to tell him that it was never too late you know that guy um, has now found a new partner <laughs> at that fucking age as well which is brilliant um, he's traveling the world he's helping other people and he's giving back and he's healthy mentally and physically and that just shows you that it is never too late to be something amazing to do something that you wanted to do to be healthy and well to get out of the rut that you're in to change your circumstances we're not gifted with endless amounts of time that's why for me time is more valuable than currency I sacrifice an awful lot of currency um, because um, I could be working a ton more. I could, do, I could do loads more PTs. I could probably have another 20 PTs. I could probably have, um, I could probably do a lot more with my, the dad's coach. I could throw a lot more time in, but I can't because I'm a dad and I'm a, I work from home and I look after my little one during the day while my partner is um, looking, building her business. So it's trying to get the balance right and I s sacrifice some of that because my time is more valuable than money. Money you can earn any time, but it's not really about money. It's about experience. It's about life, uh, life skills, life memories. It's about those things, because those things are the things that are far more important than the buck. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Morning, everyone. And thank you, guys. Um, and that's why you, I just want to instill that into your brain. As you go into the weekend and you start thinking about how your life's, life is going, Okay, think about where you are with your life. You know, if you could live a life that would make you happy, what would it look like? What would your mornings look like? What would your day look like? What would your job look like? What would your health and wellness look like? What goals would you be setting? What races would you be achieving? Okay, what would you be doing, you know? And then ask yourself, what is actually stopping you from achieving those things? So you're almost thinking of your life that would make you happy because do you know what I came down on that train this morning and pa was at Paddington yesterday and I was out with my notepad and taking photos it's a bit stalkerish but I was looking at guys and I was just stalking and watching and people watching like you do and they look so miserable they look unhappy the guys are like this stressed out guys are just walking around like they're so miserable. I was sitting on the train coming from Paddington to Devon and it was full of suits and they all looked unhappy. I saw, a guy, I heard a guy talking to his partner saying, I'm late again, is she still up? No, nope. she's gone to bed, great, so I've missed her again. And I nearly, <laughs> I nearly opened up, but I was just like, I didn't want to, it's not my business. But there are so many people who are just existing, they're just drifting, they're just, autopilot wake up go to work come back go to bed wake up go like and not living that life that they want or not doing things that they want or not keeping healthy because they find every excuse to do it time is ticking if you want a better life if you want to take life to the next level if you want to understand strategies and and understand habits routines structure to put in a very good foundation for you to be a much better version of yourself, to think differently, to be more positive, to really take life by the horns. Horns? Yeah, by the horns. Um, and really be, like, happy. You know, what's gonna make you happy? You know, depending on how old you are, if you're 50, you know, if you look at the average age, you've got 30 years. So you've got 30 summers, 30 Christmases, 30 Easter's. And when you look at it like that, you go, fucking hell, that's, you know, that's going to start ticking off just like that, one after the other. So embrace time. Do not waste time. Think of time and think of a day 
as 10 grand. You wouldn't fucking throw 10 grand away. So why would you throw a day away? Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that because I just want to emphasize that. Um, so I'm gonna slowly start getting ready to get up and go and do this talk. I think a Morrison's breakfast is in order and then traveling home late tonight. Um, but I hope you have a great weekend, guys. Don't waste a second of it. Enjoy it with your families. Make new memories. Think about if you if you think about your life and, and, and what you're doing with it. And are you fulfilled? Do you have purpose? Because I want you to. And having those things makes keeping fit and being healthy and keeping your wellness so much easier when you're happy. And if you're happy, then I'm super pleased, guys. Um, just a reminder, if you can just drop a review for me on the podcast, I'd massively appreciate it. If you share this video, I'd massively appreciate it. And if you're interested in joining us on a trial in the Brotherhood to see what we're up to in there, I've got over 100 guys who are fucking killing life right now, supporting each other, backing each other up, inspiring each other. And, you know, and some of them are making big life-changing decisions, okay? And they've got the fucking support of us, they've got the support of their families, and they're turning into amazing people. Thanks, Richard. Massively appreciate it, bro. It was lovely. Thanks, dude. Um, have a great weekend. I am going to try and get on live over the weekend because I'm away next week. There will be no live feeds next week. I know, shock horror. Because I'm away with the children and I want to build some relationships with them. So I need to make the commitment of um, not being on my phone. So I'm going to be scheduling some workouts next week. But I'm going to be talking about that probably... Sunday morning, I'll probably go live while I'm running and just explain what I'm doing next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and don't waste a fucking second.